We at SDR Play are proud to introduce our latest product to the RSP range of SDR receivers. This is the RSP Duo. It is a 14-bit dual tuner SDR receiver. In this video we will explain some of the key features of the RSP Duo and then go on to show a demonstration of how the SDR can be used in not only SDR Uno but multiple applications at the same time using a single USB 2.0 interface. Here are some of the key features. The most important difference between the RSP Duo and other RSPs to date is that this new product features dual tuners with each tuner independently controllable and capable of operating anywhere from 1 kHz to 2 GHz. Both tuners are piped through a single high speed USB 2.0 interface. Tuner 1 has two RF ports, a 50 ohm port that operates from 1 kHz to 2 GHz and a high Z port that operates from 1 kHz to 30 MHz. Tuner 2 has a single 50 ohm port and a software controllable BIOS T capable of delivering up to 100 milliamps at 5 volts. Each tuner can be operated individually, one tuner at a time, just like the RSP2. And when used this way, the maximum viewable bandwidth is up to 10 MHz. However, unlike the RSP2, with the RSP Duo, both tuners can be operated simultaneously with a maximum viewable bandwidth of 2 MHz of spectrum per tuner. The ADCs have 14-bit resolution and the RSP Duo also has a completely redesigned RF front end for excellent noise and significantly improved intermodulation performance. There are 11 pre-selection filters plus medium wave FM and DAB notch filters. In addition, unlike the RSP2, the high Z port on Tuner 1 now features a medium wave notch and 2 MHz low pass filters for reduced spurious responses. All of these enhancements deliver overall performance that is the best of any RSP to date. Finally, the RSP Duo features a reference clock I.O. now directly comp compatible with a GPS DO and the device is enclosed in a high quality rugged metal case. Now we'll go through the software installation. We will install SDR Uno and the ADSB decoding software called Dump 1090. This is so that we can look at how to run multiple applications with a single RSP Duo. As with other SDR applications, install the software whilst there are no RSPs connected. And then connect the RSP Duo once all of the software is installed. As part of the installation, a new Windows service will be installed and started. This service runs continuously in the background and is a requirement for the operation of the RSP Duo. The service allows the RSP Duo to be accessed from different applications at the same time. The service manages the allocation of tuners to various applications and will work with all RSP products as well as the RSP Duo. Now that both SDR Uno and Dump 1090 are installed and we have connected the RSP Duo to the PC, let's take a look at running them. First, let's start SDR Uno as we would normally do. You'll notice that the main window looks slightly different as SDR Uno has recognized the RSP Duo is connected. SDR Uno will always start with the RSP Duo in single tuner mode, unless one of the tuners is in use with a different application. In single tuner mode, all ports are available just like the RSP2. Selecting either of the ports for tuner 1 enables tuner 1, and selecting Tuner 2 port enables Tuner 2. In this mode, only one tuner is active at any one time. Either tuner can be operated in 0 IF mode with up to 10 MHz of bandwidth, or low IF mode with up to 2 MHz of bandwidth. Band framing now works in both 0 IF and low IF modes. In low IF mode, there are no problems with the DC spike that you get in 0 IF mode, and so it is not necessary to offset the VFO from the LO in low IF mode. You can see that I can frame the long wave broadcast band in both 0 IF and low IF modes. Now we will switch to dual tuner mode. You will see that there are two options for dual tuner mode, normal and ADSB compatible mode. The reason for this is that a specific sample rate is required if you want to operate ADSB. 
we will start in normal mode. You will see that the port that we had previously selected in single tuner mode determines which tuner we are now using as the master. The master tuner determines the ADC sample rate. Note that in dual tuner mode, the RSP duo will only operate in low IF mode and the maximum viewable spectrum is therefore limited to 2 MHz. To allow us to easily see SDR UNO panels for both tuners, we have implemented auto layouts. I can select RSP Duo Master Layout from the Opt menu and the panels will organize themselves to allow the second tuner panel to be displayed. We will see how the slave layout looks in a minute. Right now we will tune the master tuner to the broadcast FM band and select an FM station. In this master mode, another application can be started to use the slave tuner. As I start another instance of SDR Uno, you will see that it has identified that the master tuner is in use and has configured itself to only operate as the slave. I can then apply the RSP Duo slave layout to this instance of SDR Uno and it will relocate the windows to the bottom of the screen. To show that these tuners can be completely independently controlled, we will set the slave tuner to the broadcast long wave band and select a station. So now that you can see that we have two tuners running on two distinct parts of the spectrum in two separate instances of SDR Uno using the same RSP Duo device on a single USB 2.0 interface. Before switching to a different application, I will try to close the master tuner. You will see that the first application knows that the slave tuner is in use and asks you to close the application using the slave before the master application is closed. Note that the slave application must be closed before the master application is closed. We will now close the slave application down and start the ADSB application called Dump 1090. You will see that Dump 1090 complains that the ADC sample rate isn't right and that it will need to be changed before Dump 1090 will run. At this point we can either go to the master SDR Uno instance and change the mode from normal to ADSB compatible mode or we can close down SDR Uno and start Dump 1090 as the master. Please note that ADSB will by default use Tuner 2, so it is necessary to ensure that Tuner 1 is selected as the master if you want to use ADSB as the slave. Let's quickly see both options. Now that I've changed the SDR Uno master instance to use ADSB compatible mode, I can now restart Dump 1090 and you will see that it's now happy and running as usual. Again, you will see that if I try to close SDR Uno, the Windows service knows that the slave tuner is in use, even by a completely different application, and asks you to close the slave first. Once we close Dump 1090, we can then close SDR Uno. Please note that to close Dump 1090, you must only use Control C. Do not simply close the command window which is running Dump 1090 whilst Dump 1090 is running. Now we'll start Dump 1090 again. This time it will automatically start as the master. Now this is running, I will start SDR Uno and SDR Uno will start as the slave. So that you can see that both applications are happy to run as either the master or the slave. I can now try to stop the Dump 1090 master and I will get a message from the application via the Windows service that the slave is still in use. Once I close the SDR Uno slave, I can then close the Dump 1090 master. At the RSP Duo product launch, we will have SDR Uno and Dump 1090 ready for download. We also will be delivering an EXTIO plugin for HDSDR and other applications that use the EXTIO interface, and so it will be possible to mix and match other applications together with a single RSP Duo. The ever-growing Facebook groups for both SDR Play and SDR Uno are a great place to share your experience or to ask others about theirs including antenna setups and different applications for the RSP. 
you'll find all of our how-to video guides on our YouTube channel as well as other RSP and SDR related videos. Follow us on social media for updates regarding our hardware and software releases. And our website also has a lot of useful information, including documentation and software downloads. If you have any questions or problems, you can always contact us at sdrplay.com support. Thanks for watching.